administrators um, really have moved in some cases and in, in, in sometimes past have moved to an all or nothing thinking and we see this so much with sort of our behavioral matrix uh, sort of discipline process where you know a, a child is doing X, Y, and Z and when according to the behavioral uh, matrix they need an in-school suspension or an out-of-school suspension rather than going back and saying why is that? What is the root cause of this? Because getting to that root cause provides the understanding which, which helps us to identify what's the appropriate support or intervention to change uh, the pathway for that child rather than having that child be a frequent flyer and continue um, exhibiting the same behaviors um, that have been exhibited um, previously. So here's a sort of a bigger uh, screenshot of similar data, um, you know, S Scott looked at uh, a smaller portion of this data, but what I wanted to show from this particular screen, this data also tells me what's happening instructionally. Uh, you know, even though we're really focused on the root cause for student uh, performance and understanding why is that for the ABCs, I can begin looking at data and begin saying I've got an instructional issue because if you look, for example, I have science circled here. And if I begin looking at the students as a whole and I begin looking at um, all of the reds under the education, that suggests to me that, um, again, instruction is, dr is directly related to the root cause because the bulk of the, the class is not seeing a relevance for this particular class. They're not seeing the connection um, and the, the meaningfulness of this particular class to their goals and to their outcomes. So that would be something that we could we could also address using this data is trends analysis based on um, what you're seeing in terms of instructional patterns. So this is a that's a great example of that. Now I'm going to shift into 